Hello students, welcome to Narayana Online Classes. Today we are discussing in 10th standard mathematics in quadratic equations in the assignment number 9. So in that first question, so what is the coefficient of x in x square minus 2020 which is equals to 0. See here children, what is the coefficient of x? See here the given equation is x square minus 2020 is equals to 0. Here if you observe that, here is there any x family is there? Is there any x family is there? Is there any x term is there? No. So here x square, I'm, I'm adding 0 into x a dummy family. So minus 2020 is equals to 0. Now, now what is the coefficient of x? Here the coefficient of x is 0. Now, next problem. Find the roots of quadratic equation x square plus 3x is equals to 0. So, what is given equation? Now the solution. A given equation is given quadratic equation x square plus 3x is equals to 0. So here I take x as common then x plus 3 equals to 0. If you see that if x, x is equals to 0 then the whole term becomes 0. If we are adding x as 0, 0 into x plus 3 is 0, 0 into anything is 0. So if x is equals 0 means, so it is also a, a root of the equation. Or if this term also 0, if it is also 0, then x plus 3, then x plus 3 equals to 0 then x is equals to minus 3 so what are the x values children here so x is equals to 0 or minus 3 these are the two roots of the given quadratic equation now what is the option here 0 is correct one and minus 3 is the correct one that both a and c are correct only so option d now coming to the next one So check the following equation is quadratic or not. So given equation is given equation is so x minus 2 into x plus 1 which is equals to x minus 1 into x plus 3. See here x into all the term x into x plus 1 and next one is minus minus 2 into x plus 1 which is equals to your x into x plus 3 minus 1 into x plus 3 see here x into x x square plus x into 1 is x minus 2 into x is minus 2 x minus into plus minus 2 1 are 2 which is equals to x into x is x square plus x into 3 is 3x minus x minus 3. See here if you observe that x square minus uh, plus x minus 2x is minus x minus 2 equals to so here x square uh, plus 3x uh, so plus 2x minus 3 so make it uh, it has odd order so x square plus 2x minus 3 send uh, this term whole this whole equation to other hand side that is minus x square plus x plus 2 equals to 0 here plus x square minus x square get cancelled here plus 2x plus x is 3x and minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 equals to 0 see here if you observe that uh, the equation 3x minus 1 is a quadratic equation so it is not a quadratic equation why the degree of the equation is 1 so here the degree of the equation is 1 it is a linear equation so if we are simplifying this equation we are getting a linear equation 
so it is not a quadratic so the given equation is not a quadratic not a quadratic now coming to the next question find the roots of the quadratic equation root 2 x square plus 7 x minus uh, plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 so see here children root 2 x square plus 2 x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 it is a very interesting question listen root 2 x square plus 7 x plus 5 root 2 equals to 0 see here if you observe that uh, root 2 into 5 root 2 root 2 into 5 root 2 the value is 10 if we are dividing the middle term we, if you are uh, splitting the middle term then their product is 10 their product is 10 how see here root 2 x square plus 7 i am write it as 2 plus 5 into x 2 plus 5 is 7 2 5 is 10 right 2 plus 5 is 7 2 5 is 10 so 5 root 2 is equal to 0 so root 2 x square plus 2 into x is 2 x plus 5 x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 see here if you observe that root 2 x square i am writing 2 as root 2 whole square see here here if you, here if you observe that here 2 i am writing root 2 whole square square root get cancelled remaining 2 so there there is no change in the value right there is no change in that value so plus 5x plus 5x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 in these two terms in these two terms take root 2 x as common then what is remaining so x and here a root 2 is remaining here in these two terms i am taking 5 as common then x plus root 2 is equal to 0 take x plus root 2 as common then what is remaining root 2 x plus 5 equals to 0 so if x plus root 2 equals to 0 then x is equals to minus root 2 or root 2 x plus 5 equals to 0 x is equals to minus 5 by root 2 so what are the x values here so x uh, x is equals to minus root 2 or minus 5 by root 2 these two are the roots of the given equation now coming to the next one the dimensions of a rectangle whose perimeter is 28 meters and whose area is 40 square meters so what he is given he is giving a two relations one is area of a rectangle another one is the perimeter of a rectangle is given so what is given see here children a solution so what is given perimeter of rectangle is given perimeter is given how much perimeter is equals to 28 meters see here children if a rectangle for example here i am writing breadth and length so here a perimeter is equals to perimeter is equals to 2 into l plus b so 28 is equals to 2 into l plus b then l plus b is equals to send to total left hand side then 28 by 2 is a 14 therefore length is equals to 14 minus breadth here length is depending on breadth if see here children let 
breadth of breadth of rectangle is x for example i am saying that breadth of the rectangle is x then what is the length here length length what happens here so length is equals to 14 minus breadth breadth is equals to x so 14 minus x 14 minus x see here children 14 minus x is the length of the rectangle and x is the breadth of the rectangle then he is given a area area is equals to length into breadth all you know that so what is the what is the area is given 40 meter square area is given and length is 14 minus x into breadth is x so 40 is equals to so 14 into x 14 x minus x square so x square minus 14 x plus 40 is equals to 0 see here children if you are splitting these two terms then x square by using factorization method so 10x minus 4x plus 40 equals to 0 so 10 fours are 40 minus into minus plus so here I am taking x as common x minus 10 here minus 4 is common x minus 10 is equals to 0 so x minus 4 into x minus 10 is equals to 0 if x minus 4 equals to 0 x is equals to 4 or x minus 10 equals to 0 x is equals to how much 10 now i'm considering a breadth as 10 breadth as 4 breadth x is equals to 4 then length is length l is equals to 14 minus x that is 14 minus 4 is 10 meters so here a breadth is breadth is a 4 meters and length is a 10 meters understand thank you students